Oh, speaking of armor and clothing, by the way, of course, this is kind of off topic because I've stopped talking about this, but I'm going to bring it back up again. Blake also mentioned that if you go into the assassins like missions and stuff and you do all the missions, you actually get some clothing. I don't think I was aware of that. I might have been because, like I say, I have done this 100% before, so I probably have gotten everything you can get. But it's been a long, long time since I've done that. Probably like, what, 2011 or something. So it's four years ago. Almost five years ago, probably. So, I've probably forgotten everything about this game. So thank you very much, Blake, if that is true. I'm going to be doing all the assassin contracts and see if that's actually true, of course. But I'm going to try and collect as much things as I can and do as many things as I can. Um, as long as they're not boring as fuck. Salute! I am closing in on two more books, one near Topkapa and the other in the Bayzid district. Bayzid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. Si. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings, still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Portrait of a lady. Someone has broken into Sophia's shop and stolen a painting of considerable value. While she works, recover the painting. Full sync, steal the painting without the merchant spotting you. Yet in the picture, he's holding the guy up by a fucking column. Yeah, nice one there, Ubisoft. Identify the painting's thief inside the bazaar. Basically, the bazaar is uh, like a, a place for merchants, if I'm correct. You know, it's like a, a um, what do you call it? A market. There we go. Now, um, what did she say? Oh, what was it? The aqueduct. Yes, you're going to be by the aqueduct. If I'm not mistaken, that grants plus one health in the city. Now, if you know what that's from, congratulations. I like to make references. I like to give you a little bit of a challenge, tease your brain a bit. You know, why not? It's fun. Okay, so let's identify this thief then, shall we? Oh, ooh, the red trail on the floor. Hmm. It's like one of them shit skids that people leave. Where the hell is this guy? Uh, probably gonna go out of range. I always do this right. I like going to Eagle Sense and I like go out of range, but look, like, look at this, look at this. I like, oh, where the fuck is this guy? I'm not supposed to look over here, am I? Is this even the guy's trail? It must be. It has to be. Hmm. Where the fuck is this goon? Oh, I think he might be over here. Where is it, Labro? Confess! I have done that. You cannot prove it, that. I do not need to. I will just keep hitting you until you talk. Do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. Okay, so I will admit I was wrong. Of course, that guy sold it to the merchant. He was the thief who sold it to the merchant who's going to resell it on. So I'll admit... I was wrong. That is why he was holding him up on the column, or whatever it's called. So, I have to steal it without being detected. Um, in which case, I'm going to go around the other way. Because why not? Going in from the front is probably a pretty bad idea. Ooh, how much is the Grand Bazaar? Let me just check real quick. How much is it? Holy fuck, I thought it was 30,000. 42,350 Arkshay. Um... Yeah, I should probably grind a bit more to get that. Okay, right, let's go and steal the painting from this goonie. Oh, 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 oh. Boom! Goodbye, motherfucker. 
Did I get it? <laughs> Unless the other guy had it. Um, I think I'm in combat, right? Okay, full sync has been failed, no doubt. Oh, get wrecked, motherfucker. What are you doing? Why do you want to fight? What the shit? Why are you fighting me? What have I done to you? Christ. I guess it's the other guy then. Um, what the fuck? Uh, what's going on? Is it glitched? Oh, no, this is painting, right? On the wall here? Um, okay, well, I think I must have failed the full sync there, because... Unless, no, that must have been the guy who, like, was his mate or something, right? Must have been. What the hell? I have no idea what's going on anymore. My brain's fried. This game's weird. No clue. Right. Let's go take the painting back to Sophia then, shall we? Oh, God. I need to stop doing drugs. It is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. <laughs> Buffone. This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio, what is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia. When I can. Okay, what the tits. Alright, um... Sophia, she's a clever woman, okay? She must be a very smart woman. Um, oh, how the hell am I going to explain my thought process here? Right, look at Ezio. Look at him, okay? Feast your eyes upon the beauty that is Ezio Auditore. Look at him, right? Metal braces. Metal greaves. A hood. A crossbow. Metal spoilers. I guess they're leather. Whatever. Metal chest guard. Right? Satchels. Throwing knives. Hidden blades, of course, she probably won't be able to see those. Swords, a butcher's knife. Hmm. Robes. Perhaps we've seen the assassins running around because there's a fucking guild up in the Galata district. Hmm. Perhaps he could be an assassin. I'm not too sure. But if I saw a guy with a crossbow, tons of armor, a robe, with a hood of course to cover his face up half the time, Knives, daggers, throwing knives, guns, all that shit. I would probably think, hmm, do you work for the church? Why would I fucking think that? Sophia, come on, seriously, woman. You got some brains on you, you must do. You must have some brains. Honestly, you can't figure out that possibly he's with the assassins who live not too far from here. I don't know. That's just my guess. Why does no one know that Ezio's a fucking assassin? No one seems to figure it out. Like, when he's running around, like, being normal and stuff, uh, in, like, the city and, and all that shit, blending in with people, no one seems to bat an eyelid. Oh, look at that guy. He has a crossbow and loads of weapons, and he's wearing his hood up, and he looks armored to fuck, and he looks menacing as all hell. Of course, Ezio's a good guy, and he'll help the people, apart from when he steals money from them to buy certain areas so that he can actually grind. But still, that's beside the point. He's stealing for the greater good. That's what we'll say anyway. So, I don't really understand why no one can see him as a fucking assassin. You know what I mean? He, he is so out there. He's not really, con like, very um, inconspicuous, I'm going to say. He isn't. He really isn't. Like, in Assassin's Creed 1, yeah, sure, he kind of was. Altair was kind of inconspicuous. His robes resembled that of the, the scholars. Or the, yeah, I think, I think they were scholars, weren't they? Like, the white robes and the hood and stuff, and they, they would always pray. And that's what they look like. And the, oh, I've gone completely past the fucking location here. Or have I? Yes, I have. I'm a goon. I apologize. Right, so... Altair could get away with it. Ezio, not so much. Hang on, I wonder if I can buy this. No. 28,700 Arkshay. Where are you going? I was going to give you some Arkshay. Fine, walk away. It's your loss.
Signs and Symbols, Part 2, Nicola Polo hid a book near the Valens Aqueduct. Valens Aqueduct? I believe that's right. Containing clues to a Masyaf Key's location. Use the Polo symbols to reveal it. I actually thought this was going to be much harder than it was, like, the first time around. Because, obviously, like I say, I've completely forgotten how to do anything in this game. However, all you got to do is just do this. Not particularly hard, is it? It's probably this over here. That's the only one on the floor. Duh. There you go, then. Let's go over there and let's collect our book. Now, this will tell us the location of another Masyaf key, which, well, I think it will anyway, unless I have to give it to Sophia to uh, decipher it, because Ezio, being as clever as he is, can't decipher things, even though... I get That's the thing, isn't it? Ezio has always had other people decipher things for him in Assassin's Creed 2, and I believe in Brotherhood. He had... Well, not in... No, I don't think he did in Brotherhood. No. No, I'm, I'm trying to think in my head now. It's been a little while since I've played that game. Of course, <laughs> I, I don't have the best memory. But anyway, Leonardo da Vinci deciphered everything for Ezio. The Flute Girl by Menad Menander Menander has been found. Well, there we go then. I got 100% sync, guys. Oh yeah, Forum of the Ox. That sounds quite strange, especially when you put it in like today's terms. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like a farmer's forum. Oh, this is the Forum of the Ox. Oh yes, I can finally give some money to the ladies. There you go. It's kind of unfortunate how I throw it on the ground. Oh, let's make a wish then, shall we? Um, what do you, what do you guys wish for? You know, it's almost Christmas. Gonna make a wish. There we go. What did you wish for? You know, I've paid for your wish for you. No worries. I got you guys. I got you. Don't tell me your wish, of course. Otherwise, it won't come true. Christ. Don't you know the rules? <gasps> oh, my God. Do we get to do some deep penetration again? Oh, please say we do. What did you find? Another key? Door of some kind, bricked up with hard stone. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Timulus. And how did they open that door? They did it. The earthquake did it. Iperoha. All we have are a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not, we get more. Jump! The assassin! Go! Go! The Forum of the Ox. A clue left behind by the Polos has brought Ezio to the Forum of the Ox. Unfortunately, the Templars are searching here too. Full sync, do not take any damage. Fuck you. Not taking any damage is probably something I'm not gonna do, especially considering one of those guys had a gun! And we all know my hatred for the guns. Assassin's Creed... I think they actually make fun of that in Assassin's Creed... Oh, come on. Three? Yeah, Assassin's Creed 3. Um, uh, one guy says, I forget who it was now, said, um, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with a, I think he said a butter knife or something. Uh, and like, the guy had a pistol. Obviously, it's quite funny to think that Desmond uh, used a, a, a knife, a hidden blade, I suppose, yeah. Oh no, in Assassin's Creed 3, he had like that weird um, fold-out knife that he had. Oh, come on. I mean, <laughs> whatever. We'll talk about that when we get there, but seriously, some of the things... They they just oh, they, they just boggle my mind and I don't really know what Ubisoft's thinking half the time because obviously I'm not like in the the close knit group of developers and shit but I'd kind of like to pick their brain every so often I'd like you know by the way guys what were you thinking when you thought of this <laughs> because I, I'm a huge fan however as we all know I'm a massive fan I keep telling people how big of a fan I am um, oh shit uh, that, uh, oh no oh no oh of course there we go ah. Oh my god, I think I'm doing this a bit slow here. 
Uh, I kind of need to concentrate, but you know, wait, what was that thing? The the zipline assassination thing. Did I not do that beforehand? I just saw a zipline there and I was like, oh yeah, I remember zipline assassination. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't do that in like the five missions ago. Shit, I do apologize. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd kind of like to pick the Ubisoft developers' brains, or maybe even the storyline, you know, the, the guy who writes the story. Maybe it's a few guys, I'm not exactly sure, but I'd kind of like to pick their brain because, honestly, some of the things really are very inconsistent. Like, Desmond mainly. Desmond, he always changes his appearance to match his ancestor. Of course, Ezio gets older, and you think, well yeah, Desmond's older. But no, his face elongated, and his eyes changed, his mouth changed, it literally changed to a different character completely. So, I'd like to wonder, or I wonder, and I'd like to ask them, there we go, uh, what was going through their mind when they thought, let's change Desmond's appearance, rather than keeping him the same and having the assassin change appearance. In Assassin's Creed 3, once again, Desmond's changed, and it's like, why are you doing this? Why change Desmond's face every game? It makes no sense. And also, um, Desmond in Assassin's Creed 2 looked exactly like uh, Ezio when Ezio was young. And obviously Ezio looked exactly like Desmond. And Ezio also kind of looked a lot like Altair when he was young. However, in Brotherhood, they changed Ezio's face quite a lot. Not not too much, you know, they gave him a beard, made him a bit older, you know, aged his face a bit, kind of morphed him slightly, and it made more sense that he would look a bit different. And in Revelations, of course, they changed his face almost completely. You really can't tell it's Ezio. If you put him in different robes and then didn't give him the same voice, you would think he's a different character. And don't tell me you wouldn't, because, you know, you probably would think, oh yeah, that's, that's not Ezio, it can't be. And especially if you gave him a different voice. Especially. Right, well, where's the target? Oh, they're over there. Oh! Oh, can I land on him? Can I land on him? Come on! Alright then, let's kill everyone, shall we? Come on, hit me! There we go. Ah, oh, so satisfying to use the hook blade. Oh, so goddamn satisfying. It feels so nice when your reaction times are just on point. I don't know why. What am I supposed to be looking for? Um, not one of these guys, right? Uh, oh, wow, there's some treasure over here. Well, come on then, why not? Wait, am I supposed to be over here? I am. I'm supposed to be over here. How lucky was that? Well, before we go in there, I'm going to get the tree shore. Why not? You know, it's probably going to be a bit of Arkshay. Might find some tomatoes or something. God. What the hell? Why did I teleport over here? I wanted to get this one in the middle. You see, this one was a little bit more fun. There was a lot more action going on. It wasn't just me climbing about like a fool. It was me chasing some guys. And that's nice. 